Quarter marks are a smart way to add that final polish to your turnout before you go into the ring. You'll see them on horses in almost every discipline, including show horses, eventers and racehorses. They're used to enhance your horse's hindquarters and as that extra special touch to stand out in the arena. Some people use stencils. These can be cut in any pattern, meaning some people have bespoke ones for their horses. Keep an eye out for those unique markings on horses at your next show. You can also simply use a brush and comb and go freehand. It depends on your type of horse and what you're trying to highlight and your personal preference as to which you choose. Practice is key. And take a look at the top grooms and professionals' end results for inspiration. As quarter marks are usually the final touch, your horse should be clean and ready to go before these are applied. You'll need a bucket with some water in it, a dense short-haired brush like a body brush, a small comb, a stencil if you're using one, a little cloth or towel, and a sturdy step or block that you can stand on safely. Before you start, make sure someone is holding the horse or that he's tied up safely. First, give your horse's quarters a good brush and then polish with a cloth. Dip your brush into the water and shake it out Repeat this step as needed when creating your designs. This is a nice, simple design. Decide whether you'd like to have two or three stripes on your horse's quarters, then place your damp brush at his croup and brush down, finishing parallel to his point of hip. Repeat this with your second and third stripe, making sure they're equidistant apart. Then do the same on the other side, making sure they match, and tidy up by brushing the coat in the direction of growth above and below these. These can be added below any markings that you've done on your horse's upper quarters. Take your damp brush and from below his point of hip, gently take a diagonal line upwards towards his tail. Then repeat, but this time take a diagonal line with a gentle slope downwards. Repeat several times until you have the look you're going for. Again, it's a case of practice to get these neat and to find the right number and angle to enhance your horse's quarters. To finish, take your brush and sweep down from his dock, down each side of his thigh towards his gaskin. Unleash your creative side by trying some different patterns, such as checkerboards, dots or triangles. These can particularly suit dainty bottoms. If you're using a stencil, simply hold it in place and brush the hair at an angle with your damp brush. You could even create your own stencil, should you wish. Checkerboards can also be drawn freehand using a small comb. Combs come in different sizes, so again, play around to find which creates the best size squares for your horse. Using your damp brush, brush down in a diagonal line from the croup to a level parallel to the point of hip. Repeat this further along your horse's quarters so the V meets in the middle. Tidy by running the brush under the base of the design. You could also take a wider V and add a third line in the middle for a variation on this. The idea behind quarter marks is that they should enhance your horse's features, not detract from them. Have fun, play around and see what works best for your horse. Less can be more, and if it goes wrong, the beauty is that you can simply brush away and start again. Do you have any tips for perfect quarter markers? Or how do you use them to enhance your horse's natural beauty? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and to subscribe for more content.